Lucky are you who has something to shake when starring, if you know what I am saying. <laughs> because as for me, I have got legs. Hi guys. Oh, good morning. So today I have decided to put on some lipstick and step outside because I'm going to run some errands in town. The ride from home, I'm going to use a motorbike and a matatu. So I'm going to make uh, to take a motorbike to take me to a place where I'm going to wait for the matatu. I can take approximately one hour to get to town depending on the availability of the matatu. So I hope I'm going to find a ready matatu so that I won't be late and also the rain won't catch up with me. So let's go. I got back home a few minutes ago. I brought with me some bunch of ingredients that I'm going to use for making soap that we use here at home. We use it for cleaning the floors, the toilets, our clothes. We don't have to spend so much on soap. All you have to do is get a small quantity of powder and of course the bar soap itself. So liquid soap is very efficient and I thought why not show you this process. So let us do it together. This is our first ingredient. It's basically a, a white viscous substance that we're going to put into our basin. Remember to select a deep basin depending on the quantity of the soap that you want. This basin has the ability to hold at least 40 liters so Empty the contents into the basin. Uh, I'm going to make uh, 30 liters of soap. And I got ingredients for 30 liters. When you go to the shop, you have to specify what amount of soap you want to make. And they are going to give you already measured ingredients. And it's going to make it easy for you to mix them without having to measure and all that stuff. You get uh, at least a long, a long stick or something to, something to stir the mixture. I chose to go with this muiko that we never use. It's been here for generations. We found it here since the day that we were born. So we don't use it. And it's deep enough to go into the basin as you can see. So stir the whole thing. Koroga, koroga, kama mtush. Koroga, so that the ingredients can mix together. Ingredient number two is this thing that looks like <laughs> sugar or salt. I don't actually know their names. I never bothered to learn. But I think this is Magadi. So add it into the basin and continue stirring. Lucky are you who has something to shake when stirring, if you know what I am saying. <laughs> because as for me, 
I have got legs. So, how do you shake legs? <laughs> anyway, continue stirring. Make sure that the mixture blends in perfectly. Uh, the, the substance that you've just added is a bit rough, so make sure that it is smoothen, it smoothens out in a paste, in a fine paste, before you you continue to add the next ingredient. We are now at ingredient number three, which is this dark substance right here. What you have to do is open up the substance and. Also, guys, I forgot to mention, when you're doing this, maybe it's advisable for you to get some gloves and definitely a mask because the chemicals might emit some smell or some, some fumes that might choke you. So ensure you have a mask. Your hands are soft. Consider using gloves because it, the, the gloves are going to shield you from the chemicals. And they won't harm you. For me, just work without gloves because my hands are already hard enough. <laughs> what do you expect? I am from the village. And this, guys, is our ingredient number four. I like mixing ingredient number five and six at the same time. They both look similar. The only difference is that ingredient number five is a bit fine, a fine white powder, while number six is some rough white powder. So add them to your basin. Stirring is the word. Blend the mixture. And let us wait for the magic to unfold. Guys, at this point, we can now start adding water into our mukorogo. <laughs> Make sure that uh, the water that you are adding is measured up somewhere. Kwa mtungi, kwa bucket. Make sure it measures up to the uh, quantity of, that other, of water that you want. It might be 5 liters, 10 liters to match 10 liters ingredients. Mine is 30 liters to match my, my, my 30 liters ingredients so that my soap will not spoil. Make sure that the water does not exceed the recommended quantity so that your soap won't be too watery. <laughs> so continue adding the water while stirring.
my soap is now at the 20 liters mark and it is time for me to add color this orange substance thing this is color green it might look orange but when you add it and it comes into contact with a liquid it turns to green so let us add it to our mixture and continue blending there are various colors that you might want to choose from but i prefer green i don't know why but it just looks natural i don't like blue because it is monotonous yeah and so i tend to go for green all the time it's time to let our soap sit for a day that is 24 hours so we are going to leave it untouched and unused for the next 24 hours so that the ingredients can settle they can blend it we can now add our perfume this is the perfume in this bottle i will go for sweet lemon because it is not uh, so strong there are various perfumes that you can choose from there is lavender it all depends on your liking and also how sensitive you are i tend to go for the sweet lemon because it's not sensitive and thus it will not uh, trigger my smell allergy so this is perfect if you don't want something that is too strong this is the next day the next morning you can see my how my soap turned out it is just perfect it is at least 35 liters and i am now emptying emptying it into the storage bottles you can use it for you know washing your vehicles you can also sell it to the neighbors it is actually a good thing it can help you save on some coin so thank you guys for watching this video i hope i will be back next time with another village hack yeah i hope you're going to try this and if you have any doubts whatsoever if you have some questions to ask you can leave a comment and i will be glad to direct you so thank you guys for watching until next time, bye!